training. Let the people Oh, lift up your voice and give him glory. Your mercy never failed me in all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been
if you can. Over my finances, you reign. Over my family, you reign, Lord. Over my challenges, you reign. You reign. You reign. You You are mighty on your throne. Ah! 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for this opportunity, which you are not taking it for granted. We thank you for the opportunity, Holy Spirit. We ask that if the chairman of this gathering once again as a family, we commit everything we're going to do into your hands. We commit those who are on their way coming into your hands. We ask that you grant us favor. You wipe away each and everyone's tears. You will go back with miracles on each side. In Jesus' mighty name, with thanksgiving, we pray. Amen. I saw for you, oh, yeah, I walk. Ah, I saw for, I saw for you, oh, yeah, I walk. Yeah, 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 oh, 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 <laughs> 
Onya kupone, onya kupone, niye pa fukesi, Alleluia, asafu, asafu ye kwa niye na, ewo. Onya kupone, onya kupone, niye pa fukesi, Alleluia, asafu, asafu ye kwa niye na. Every 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 soul, every Every soul, every soul, Every so rabo futu nyomo, watu nyomo se, hallelujah. Ano pa ya? Ano pa? Iha, yano, watu nyomo se, hallelujah. Ano pa ya? Ano pa? Iha, yano. Hallelujah! 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 I'm not praying. I'm not praying. He heard me. I told him. Oh, oh, oh! Don't you hold on to me. Hallelujah! I'm not praying. I'm not praying. Yeah, he heard me. I told him. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Don't you hold on to me. Da <laughs> Yeah, you are. 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 Yeah
about the good things that he has done for you throughout the week. He has been with you from Monday to the Friday. He is your pro provider, your protector, your guide. He has been with you throughout. Tell God something. Lift up your voice and tell God something this afternoon. Just lift up your voice. Bless you. Thank you. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Give you all the praise, the adoration. Glory be to your holy name, my Lord. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Thank you, Father. Let it come out from the innermost part of you. Tell God something this afternoon. Tell him something. Osa very much, aye, hoa, wo to me so, wo to me so, me see osa very much, aye, hoa, wo. To me so, oh, to me so, me see ya back up, oh, you bet, in a rock, if we say, oh, you mind, yeah, 
aquece e o sa very much aye o wa eche mu to me to me so o wa to me so o me si e be ka won't you me
magnify you this afternoon in the might more Jesus. We thank you Lord for how far you have brought us. Lord we started the year with so many people but they are nowhere to be found. Some found them, themselves in the prison some of them in the hospital some of them in the mortuary and some of them at the graveside. But this afternoon if you are alive and we are breathing we have a reason to thank you this afternoon. You deserve our praise this afternoon. We magnify your holy name this afternoon in the might more Jesus' name. We thank you for how far you have brought us. We thank you for the life of Clossack members. We thank you, Lord, for the life of executive in the might more Jesus. We give all the glory this afternoon. We give all the honor this afternoon in the might more Jesus. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. This afternoon, take your glory this afternoon. Take your thanks this afternoon in the might more Jesus' name. 
we bless you this afternoon. We magnify you this afternoon in the might of Jesus. Father, we are thanking you for all that you have done for us and what you are going to continue to do for us in the mighty name of Jesus' name. We bless your holy name, Lord, this afternoon in the might of Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I see the world. I hear Wonko ara na yebe na yebe sumu wo se wo ma won sasoa na nia ma ye ji o wu yo you make me ji wa e ye yo to pray and our prayer is premised on Genesis 48 16 Jacob was speaking and he said the, the angel that had been with me who kept me from all evil bless thee he's talking about God himself hallelujah we'll be praying for the leadership and the membership of clock sack and we'll be saying father let your angel of protection continue to keep the leaders and members of clock sack from every harm throughout this year. Praise the Lord. When we are praying, make sure you pray. Fill the cloud with your prayer so that you can benefit from the cloud. Rise up on your feet, lift up your voice. Father, let your angel of protection continue to keep the leadership and the members of Clock Sack from every harm throughout this year. Lift up your voice and speak to the Lord. Father, let your angel of protection continue to keep the leadership and members of clock sack from every harm throughout this year. In the name of Jesus, this year we will not hear of any negative news in the name of Jesus because the angel of your presence will go with us in the name of Jesus. In our going in and our coming out, Father, we will not dash our feet against the stone. Lord, we will escape every entrapment of the enemy. All the schemes of the enemy will be averted by the angel of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Regarding our families, we will not hear of any negative news in the name of Jesus the Christ. Father, let your angel of protection protect every single member of the leadership and the members of Clockside in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree peace on the road, peace in the air, peace everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. With this ear, we will hear only good news. We will not hear that anyone has been involved in a fatal accident in the mighty name of Jesus. We forbid every negativity in the name of Jesus. We declare that your protective arm will be stronger by the day upon every member of Clockson and the leadership in the name of Jesus will declare that the arrows that fly by day, no, the pestilence and noonday will not come nigh, are dwelling in the name of Jesus. Thank you, because it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. We're continuing in prayer and we're praying for our nation. Would want to take a scripture, two scriptures, I would say. The first from Isaiah chapter 54, 
the verse number 17. The Bible said that no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. Then we'll be taking our second scripture also from Psalms 124, the verse number 7. The Bible said, Our soul is escaped as a bed out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Amen. We are praying that, Father, we condemn every weapon and tongue fashion against this nation in the name of Jesus. And we deliver the souls of this nation, being the citizens of this nation, from any form of destruction in the name of Jesus. You want to stand to your feet as you lift up prayer for this nation and for the citizenries of this nation in the name of Jesus. That no weapon that is formed against this nation shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Anything that is being built in demonic wombs against this nation, let it be condemned by divine authority in the name of Jesus. We lift up this nation, Ghana, before the throne room of God. That no weapon of the enemy fashion against this nation shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Any evil tongue that has gone forth before the destinies of this nation, any evil words that are being spoken against the destiny of this nation, let it be condemned by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let any voice of the enemy that is being lifted up against this nation, Ghana, let that voice be silenced by divine authority in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, O oh God, uh, that only the voice and the words of the Lord concerning this nation shall stand. Uh, only the words of the Lord concerning the destinies of this nation shall stand in the name of Jesus. We command the deliverance of the citizens of this nation in the name of Jesus. We command the deliverance of the citizens of Ghana from any demonic weapons against us in the name of Jesus. Just as the soul is escaped as the bed out of the snares of the fowlers, so shall our souls escape any snare of the enemy that is being laid for us. Our soul shall escape any snare of the enemy being laid for this nation Ghana in the name of Jesus. This nation shall not see any form of destruction. Violence shall be far away from us. We shall not experience war like the other nations because we have chosen to pray for this nation. We have chosen to lift up this nation before God. We decree and declare, O oh God, that any snare of the enemy laid for us to put this nation in setback, let us snare be broken in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Any snare, O oh God, laid for the souls, O oh God. Any snare laid for the citizens of this nation, O oh God. To bring death, O oh God, over the citizens, O oh God. Uh, to kill innocent souls and innocent lives. Uh, let that demonic snare be broken off us in the name of Jesus. We command our escapes on every side, from the north, south, east, and west. And we secure our bodies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This moment will be upstanding and going before the Lord with our personal supplication. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians 3.20 He says Unto him that is able to do a seedling above, abundantly above all that we can think or act of, according to the power that works in us. Amen. That power has been given unto you. You have that power to destroy that challenge in your life. Left, forward, you can be outstanding, you can take any position, but make sure you are connected to the Lord. Be believing that whatever you are going to say, 
believing that whatever you are going to declare, the Lord will do it for you. The power has been given to you to destroy that challenge in your marriage, to destroy that challenge in your finances. Whatever the issues are, the Lord say, call upon me and I will answer you. Do you believe you have that power? Do you believe you have that power to say unto that thing that it should move, that it will move from your way? Let's go before the Lord this at this moment and declare whatever we want to say and declare whatever we want to see. Just be like Jacob. He wrestled with the angel that he will not let the angel go until he bless him. Therefore, this is your time to let whatever your, the, your answers to your question, the Lord should answer it for you. Everything in your life should turn into a testimony. You should come to testify that yes, this was it, but now the Lord has done it for me. Let's be in the position speaking to the Lord. Don't keep quiet. Don't look at the one before beside you. Don't listen to anyone. Look up to the Lord, the author and finisher of our faith. He is able to deliver you. He is able to do everything that is, you don't know. Everything that you cannot do, he will be able to do. What man cannot do, the Lord will do it for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your holy name we have come. In the area of our finances, Father, increase it for us. We are declaring that, Father, that sickness that we don't know the solution, we have come to you because you are the solution to that. You are the maker of the body. Therefore, we declare that any part that that, that we, we, we walk, any sicknesses, we declare that Father is dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you are able to do all things above and abundantly exceeding as we have asked you will do it for us in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. <laughs> I want to ask the Lord to do for you. Help me praise the Lord. Said I've come to praise you for your goodness and your kindness. Your faithfulness and love you showed to me. Cause even when I fall, you pick me up. Your mercy serve on you. Say more, more, more. Yes, so Christ, oh more. Said I've come to praise you for your goodness and your kindness. Your faithfulness and love you shown to me. Cause even when I fall, you pick me up. Your mercy serve on you. Say more, more, more. Yes, so Christ, oh more. Everybody have been saying, Oh, 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 yes, you, Christ, oh, 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 yes, you, oh, oh, yes, you, Christ, oh, oh, for all that you have done, say, for all that you have done, and all that you will do, say, oh, 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 yes, you, Christ, oh, oh, woo. Listen to the testification. Said men rejected me, looked down on me, and said I wouldn't make it. But the one that lives in me is greater than he that lives in the world. You said you never leave me and never will forsake me. Say more, 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 yes, so Christ, your more. I said men rejected me, looked down on me, and said I wouldn't make it. By the one that lives in me is greater than he that lives in the world. You said you never leave me and never will forsake me. Say more, 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 yes, to Christ, no more. Praise the Lord, somebody. Woo! For all that you have done, say for all that you have and done, all that you will do, more, 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 yes, you Christ, 
Thank you. Hallelujah. We can do it better once again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're welcome this afternoon to our fellowship. I want to thank God for this privilege and the leadership of Clock Sag for same, for making it possible for us to gather and to fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're talking about the supernatural. Say with me, the supernatural. Say with me, the supernatural is real. Praise the Lord. You know, many have gotten formal education, but many are lacking spiritual education. If you lack spiritual education, you conform only to this world. That's what the Bible said. But be ye transformed. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. So, the reason why you see a person being, not being transformed is because he had already conformed to the natural. That means he's stuck to the natural. In other words, anything that he cannot reason out, he will say it is not true. It's not possible. It can't happen because it cannot, it's beyond reasoning. Hallelujah. But the supernatural is beyond reasoning. That's why we said that. To walk in the supernatural, you have to conquer logic or reasoning. Because the point is, you were there before you appeared. Now, the fact that you are here is because God permitted it. Praise the Lord. Now, if God did not permit it, you wouldn't be here. So he said, before I formed thee, I knew thee. And I have ordained thee. So you were known before you appeared. Praise the Lord. Now, so for you not to believe that you came from somewhere is trying to be a vagabond. Because you actually don't belong here. You came from somewhere. But because of the environment now that you live in, you have conformed to this world. So the Bible said, be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. For example, look at it. He said, heaven and the earth. The earth is practically a continuation of heaven. As God created the heaven and the earth, there was nothing wrong with the earth. But the earth was affected, of course, because of sin. So we have a place of no limitation and a place of limitation. Heaven and the earth in its fallen state. Then we have the natural and what? And the eternal. You have the visible and the invisible. Praise God. And then you look at you as a person. You are a spirit being having a soul and living in a body. Praise God. We said with the body, you contact the external environment with your soul. That's where you have your mind, your will, your intellect, and your emotions. Now, so if you camp in your emotions, you can never encounter the supernatural. Because the emotion, which is the realm of your soul, is a passage to the spirit. Praise the Lord. Now, so your spirit comprises your Intuition, your conscience, and communion. The co word communion is from the word koinonia, where we have fellowship. What we are doing now, we are fellowshipping. It's communion. But it starts from the conscience, which is part of your spirit, small s. Praise the Lord. 
So your conscience is the feeling of, or the emotion of your spirit. Are you following? Then the intuition, not instinct. Animals are the ones that have instincts. Human beings have what we call intuition. Intuition is the knowing that comes into your spirit. Praise God. So when you feel it with your conscience, your intuition will know it and your communion will act it. Praise the Lord. Praise God. No, but if you educate the mind and leave the spirit, over time, you rebel against anything spiritual. Why? Because you are used to the natural. You have mastered the natural and you have overlooked the supernatural. And so when it, anything that is happening that is beyond your mind, you say you don't believe it because you are stuck to the natural. Praise the Lord. But the supernatural is real. Is what? One day, I was driving, and I got to Sunny FM. That year, I think 2018, I survived four accidents. How many? How many? The supernatural is real. I was driving Sunny FM, and I had released my first musical album. And the song that was played was Look and Leave. So, whilst I was driving, I was negotiating a band. All of a sudden, the car just skid, I mean, off the road. It was going to the other side of the road. And all of a sudden, before I knew, the car just got stuck. It's as if some pressure, something, you know. So, what I heard was, the people around was, we woo, we woo, we woo, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Because of the way, and there was a pole. There, boom, by the grace of God. I, my, my leg was on the accelerator and the thing was in motion, like, and I was just stuck there. I was there, and then all I could hear was look and leave. The song was just playing. Nothing happened. I just came out, they opened the door, I came out on a head up on the night. The supernatural is real. Another time, I, that same year, I was at Wajak Junction. And then it was, you know, we're supposed to stop red, right in the middle, in the traffic. All I had was boom behind my back. I have LT bus, the brake has failed and was right behind me. Boom, just like that. By the grace of God. I was not, I didn't panic, nothing. I was just calm. My car just moved forward. And the LT was seriously damaged. Medically, checked myself, nothing happened. The same, I was on Pokwasi Road. <laughs> what I mean is, I survived four accidents in that year. And it's because he said, I will give my angels charge. Now, but the point is that if I don't believe it, I'm, I, would, I would have been dead by now. I will give my angels charge. Somebody will say, uh, when they talk about angels, they say, well, what are angels? They are real. They are real. Angels are supernatural beings. You see? That's what we said. To have an encounter from the supernatural realm, it is by revelation. By what? Revelation. And you must, because that realm is beyond time. This realm, the earth, is the realm that is limited by what? By time. So everything that happens in that realm is accelerated. Are you following? But this realm is limited by time. But for you to encounter those things, it has to be by faith and by revelation. I was teaching the Bible school one of the days and I was talking about the word of God. Now, as I was moving, my, this, my leg hit. Somebody was sitting in front. The word of God was just going. And it hit the leg of the, the man that was sitting. 
immediately the man said he felt an electric shock inside him. And he was actually, uh, he had a problem with the leg. He was healed. At another time, I was teaching. You see, when God's word is going, the power of God is moving. Now, you see, so your ability to receive, when you play down on God's word, God does not respect your regarding. That's why I say have respect for the covenant. Those who play down on God's word, who scoff God's word, can never get anything out of the word. One day I was teaching, then there was, I stepped out of the room, and then a small young girl, the mother was carrying the baby, and the girl was sick. Then he said, my daughter is sick. I just put my hand on the girl and then left. I didn't know what happened. So later in the day, in service, the girl came to testify. That immediately I stepped out, and I put my hand on the child. The child was walking around. Now, what happened? It's a medium. The power of God moves. It's real. God is real. Now, this is why he gave us faith to ascend from the natural into the supernatural. Because here was Adam who was relating with God every day. Then all of a sudden, because of sin, God lifted his presence from the garden. How would they now get back to God? How would they relate? This is why God gave man faith. Say with me, faith. So faith is that bridge that you climb on from the natural into the supernatural. Praise the Lord. So you need to believe that the supernatural is real. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. The Bible says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. So if you want to know that the supernatural are real, just look at the natural. It only tells you what is there. Are are you following? So he said the invisible, you, you see them, you encounter them as a result of what is what? Seen. Praise God. He said, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. And I ask a simple question every time. Who is holding the sun up there? Who is holding it? Who is holding the moon? These are, they are millions of, 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 of years away. Who is holding it? That's what the Bible says. Upholding all things by the word of his power. Everything you see in this dimension was spoken. God declared from the beginning when he was creating. He declared them and they came. So to see anything in the natural, it must be revealed and must be declared. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And so the supernatural is real. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. This month, you encounter the supernatural God. Why will God leave his children here? Because you know we have limitations in this place. And that's why you must engage your spirit man to encounter the supernatural. Everybody that works in the supernatural becomes a star. Colossians 1, verse 16. The Bible says... For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Let me shock you. Who created Lucifer? Who created Lucifer? All of them were created by God. The demons rebel. I mean, fallen angels that rebel were created by God. Therefore, they submit to God. So the natural submits to the supernatural. Every time the natural sees the supernatural, the natural will give way. Are you following? When the supernatural hits your life, the natural gives way. You see, when the supernatural wants to enter a place, the natural has no option 
than to give. Why? Because the supernatural is the realm of creation. Is the realm of originality. I pray that the supernatural will visit you this month. All you need is to believe that it is real. Say with me, it is real. So Ephesians 1, 3 says, the things that are above are what are real. And we are blessed with spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Your blessing is felt spiritual. Your blessing is felt spiritual. Now listen, because sickness cannot dwell in heaven, because its environment forbids sickness. Are you following? Now sickness only dwells here. Because here, it is the realm of substance. Praise God. And substance is anything that is tangible. It's a mass. Sickness is a mass. Praise the Lord. And therefore, when the supernatural environment comes upon your life, the sickness gives way. Because that, that realm, sickness are forbidden to be there. Are, are you following? That's why angels don't fall sick. Because they have glorified bodies. But we are in a realm where there's limitation. However, we have the spirit of God and we have faith. We can project beyond. Praise God. Do you know that as children of God, we don't need miracles? Let me shock you. Miracles became necessary. Because of limitation. Because we are a miracle ourselves. Say with me, I'm a miracle. So miracle become necessary when we are limited by time. But in the realm where we come from, we are already a miracle. Rise up on your feet. <laughs> Praise God. And the same spirit is inside of you. Say it's inside of me. God, we are made of the parent material of God. The spirit of God. Are you following? He said, if the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, that spirit will quicken your mortal body. The mortal talks about flesh, limitation. So we are made of the material of God, which is inside of us, our spirit. Praise God. Praise God. So you want to pray in a minute. Open my eyes. To behold wondrous things out of thy law. Because the supernatural is supposed to be your natural environment. You are supernaturally natural. You want to talk to God this month. Supernatural thing must begin to happen to you. Hello? Some monies will be released to you that you have never paid for. Yeah, that's the supernatural lifestyle. If all you, are got, you are getting is all you are toiled for, it's not a blessing. The blessing supersedes hard work. It doesn't mean laziness will be condoned by God. No. But there's a point that God knows that we are limited in the natural. So he brings on the supernatural so that we can see his goodness. Are you following? So when we see the supernatural, we have seen the goodness and the acts of God's love. That's why this weekend, God will visit you supernaturally. Things that have been delayed in your life will be accelerated. That marital stagnation is broken in the name of Jesus. You want to lift your voice and pray this once. And tell the Lord, open is to open your eyes to behold wondrous things. You want to see the manifestation of the supernatural in your life. You want to encounter things that are beyond your ability. The supernatural is beyond your physical strength. You want to see that act of God's love. That's why He rained down manna for them. That's a supernatural. He rained down manna, manna, manna for them in the wilderness. Why? Because he wants them to understand his supernatural love. You want to tell the Lord that this weekend, show me your love. 
demonstrate your love unto me. Talk to him. Lift up your voice and speak to the Lord. The Bible says, everyone that asketh, receive it. However, ask in faith. Believe that anything you are saying from your mouth now will be done. Believe it. Everything you're asking the Lord, that it, it will be done. Talk to him. It may be your child. That the power of darkness be broken over his life. It may be anything. Speak to the Lord. I want to see and encounter the act of your love in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we declare this weekend we lose the manifestation of the supernatural in our lives. We declare that limitations are taken off in the name of Jesus. We call it down in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to still be upstanding. We are going to pray to thank God. Thank God for answering your prayers. Thank God. Open your mouth and continue to thank God. Thank God that he has answered your prayers. Thank God that he is going to let this week be a week of success for you. He is going to bless you because he has already said that, yes, blessing will come on our way that we cannot even count. Open your mouth and thank God. Thank God. Don't be lazy. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him for resurrecting in your life and all your activity. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. In the name of Jesus. Patience of days as old as you are, as old as you are, you remain the same. Patience of days as old as you are, as old as you are. For your word, we thank you for the opportunity that, Father, you gave to us to listen to your word. We thank you, God Almighty God. We bless your holy name and we know that, Father, whatever we have said here, Father, you have answered that in abundance. We give you glory, we give you honor and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Next week we are here, same time. Invite what your friend to join you us. Amen. What would you do? 